All right, guys, today we are checking out the Land Rover Defender 90. This one's a 2022 model. It's an X Dynamic, uh, so that's why you've got kind of all the exterior amenities here in regards to black rims and kind of decked out exterior appearance. Um, you see X Dynamic branding there on the front as well. Uh, pretty loaded up for a 90, not top of the line, um, so not maxed out, but it is the six cylinder version, so plenty of pickup. Um, you'll notice the interior is also pretty spacious. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go over a few of the features on it, a few of the notable things, and cover um, overall equipment on this one specifically. Sticker price for this guy is right at 67. Um, so like I said, not too loaded, not too base, kind of right in the middle. Um, but I'll go through some of the basics and uh, see what you guys think. All right, so first feature I love is the fact that these doors are massive. So you actually see the cutout for a standard Defender door ends there. The two door doors are that much wider just to allow easy entry to the, the second row. So you'll notice this one's manual seats. So you've got a pull tab here that releases the rollers and the seat back to allow you easy access. It's actually really easy access to the rear. And then the rear, you've obviously got cup holders, windows that don't open, secondary windows that don't open, and then a sunshade uh, for the sunroof, which in your case is a moonroof. Um, but that being said, I'm six foot four and comfortable. Here, I'll hop on this so you can actually see. Comfortable in the third row. So I'll give you a side view. I mean, honestly, plenty of room. Uh, there's not a trip where I'd be uncomfortable in the back seat of this. I've got more room than a lot of cars that offer a third row um, and very comparable room to the second row in the four door. So thrilled with that. They still give you the amenities that you're accustomed to on the other Defender models that you've seen, as well as USBs. You can see these things are my favorite. Oh my gosh, the hook. So pops out so you don't need it. You know, if you don't need it, you can pop it out. But it also is just like a load bearing hook that you can throw a backpack on, um, purse, whatever. You can swap it out with this slot that actually encompasses the hanger, which additionally useful, not for me personally, but some of my clients love it. You've actually got a full fledged hanger. So, and you can pop this, just the hanger portion off via that button there. Uh, you don't have to keep either of them on. They're really easy to throw back in one handed, just like I did there because this little guy, you can slide them up just like that, boom. You can also mount iPads and things like that to those mounts, which is nice. Um, so yeah, I would recommend doing the iPad setup rather than the Land Rover specific media system because iPads are just better, or tablets are. Now, this will bring me to another point. So you'll notice in this case, you've got manual seats. Uh, they'll be listed online as semi-powered what that means is boom, boom. You've also got lower and raise for the seat. So if you see semi-powered, that's exactly what it is. All right, so you'll also notice on this one that it does not have the air suspension pack. So that's gonna give it uh, standard coil suspension. Uh, all your dimensions that show in this four x four screen are gonna be relative to um, as if you had coil suspension. So, boom, this will give you all the, the details on that specifically should you need it. Um, overall, the screen setup is identical to the larger screen that I reviewed on the other 2022 Defender that we have right now, despite it, the, the fact that this is a, a 90. So it's identical outside of the size. So the size is obviously slightly smaller. You can see the smaller of the screen here uh, compared to the one that I've got in my other video. But overall operation is identical. It's all the same. Seats identical, all the same. So accessing heat or cool, as you can see in this case, no cool, even though it looks like it. Um, and then obviously your auto start stop, things like that. So still has that kind of equipment, still has a transfer case. You can see the low range gearbox there. 
um, just slightly different layout because of the, the third row. So like I was saying, obviously you get amenities in that third row. This will slide all the way back, giving you access to the sunroof. And then we can open it additionally here. Boom. It's one touch. So there is your button and then that is fully open. So you can see mainly a wide opening, not a very long one. Uh, but as expected for basically any sunroofs right now. So this one, uh, like you saw earlier, MSRP on it is 67. Um, so right under 68,000. So it's definitely not loaded, but it isn't base by any stretch. It's an X Dynamic. So the X Dynamic package is gonna give it a lot of not only standard equipment, but exterior aesthetics as well. So it's gonna make sure that your exterior like for example let me hop out and show you so this one has black rims uh it also has black painted body panels here and here which go a long way from just a look standpoint it makes it really look a lot more premium you've also got painted black this is painted black which on the configurator won't look much different but it is totally different it's the gloss black rather than the uh kind of plasticky looking black that wears over time and then additionally you've got the silicone kind of silver finish on the front bumper which is different than just a base standard 90 and then all of your lettering and grills and things like that are going to be that same matching kind of uh, silicone silver and then standard features in addition to that, you've obviously got 360 cameras, as you can see one of them here. They operate the exact same as they do on the other Defender model that I showcased the other day. And then on the rear, so this one's actually got a scuff plate. Uh, this is the bright rear scuff plate, if you see that optioned uh, or as an option anywhere. Um, be nice if it was black. Obviously, it's not very noticeable on the back of this because it's under um kind of everything but in any case nice that they offered it won't scuff up your paint that way which i see a ton um then you've got grocery hooks which they left in still have a shade area for where you can put your shade and then two latches here where i can hook it so i still have that kind of fabric shade that's uh, nice because you can just throw it wherever and then your rear seats are still split up as you'd expect so putting them down is still possible. It's actually really easy to do from here. And then if you run into a situation like this where your front seat is too far back, these are actually really nice because, boom, there's a button right there. Click it, fold it, pop it, and you're done. And so they fold down pretty flat. You've got a little bar that splits them up from the actual rear. And then trunk space, although not abundant, is definitely amenable considering you're in a two-door SUV. And like I said earlier, your space for your second row is honestly great for, I, I mean, I there really isn't many two-door SUVs anymore. The last one being the FJ Cruiser, and I think this is on par from a space standpoint, if not better. So I'm overall happy with that. Um, but yeah, it's a cool car. This thing is like a go-kart when you drive it. It's the six cylinder, so it's 400 horsepower, uh, but obviously a lot uh, smaller package than the four door and it moves for sure so it's got pickup it feels like a uh, crossover but obviously gives you a good amount of uh, space overall so this thing is uh it, it's killer it's a killer ride i actually was thinking about uh doing a lease on this one specifically and still am so this is one of the available ones that we have at the dealership right now uh which is land rover nashville if you happen to live in tennessee and want a two-door defender we do have one and i'd be glad to help you with it uh but yeah i was thinking about this one uh, and still am and i've got to run lease numbers on it but they're awesome uh you won't see another one around it's a unique car especially if you don't need um you know the the four doors for whatever reason it's a great way to go i mean this is like i said 67 grand well equipped you'd be around 80 uh, four -door. But that there is the Defender 90. If I missed anything, got questions, uh, if you just want to leave a comment in general, feel free to leave them below. As always, like and subscribe, assuming this video was useful in any way. Thanks for your time.